Have you ever had this issue with your AMS? Well, today I'm going to show you how to repair the AMS hub. This is MikeBot. Today, I'm gonna to be showing everyone how to repair the AMS hub, or sorry, how to replace the AMS hub on the AMS unit from Bamboo Lab. Now, from time to time, you gotta replace parts on this AMS unit, but every now and then, the most expensive part in the unit breaks, which is the AMS hub. It's about $70 Canadian for it. If you get it on sale, sometimes it's 45 bucks Canadian. Still very expensive and a painful replacement. Now, I don't know how frequently you're supposed to replace the AMS hub, but for me, this is the second time I got to do it. The teeth break on the back, I guess, from all the uh, filament changes. I do a lot of color printing and once they break, you're screwed. I'm in the middle of a print now, which two and a half days in. I still have 10 hours left to the print and this happened. So I've decided to um, I've decided to basically show everyone how to replace the hub. So first thing you want to do, make sure you keep a couple of these on hand. These are the AMS hubs from Bamboo. Uh, I usually keep two, sometimes three on hand um, because I've had this issue happen and it sucks when it happens when you're in the middle of a print and don't have a spare. So you get some grease in the pack and then the actual AMS hub is right here so basically there are teeth inside here and they wear down after a while and they'll break now hopefully this doesn't happen to you in the middle of a print like with me but that's most likely when you're going to find out so keep a couple of these on hand especially if you have six or seven ams units like me so i'm going to put this aside so i don't damage it and i'll show you what to do here so make sure your lid's not locked first and foremost. Next, you want to remove the two screws back here. Um, I, sh I should step back one step. Make sure you've already disconnected the PTFE tube in the back. So there's a little knob like this. You press down on it with both fingers tightly and then gently tug the PTFE tube. If you do that too rough, that's another way to break the PTFE hub or sorry, the AMS hub. So remove the PTFE tube, remove the screws. Once you remove the screws, this piece here, gently tug on it in the back with two fingers and then tilt towards you like this. So now once you're at this stage, I'm gonna try to do this for the camera here. So once you're here, there are two cables in the back. These might be held on by some glue, or if you've done this already before, they won't be. Now, what you can do is get yourself a couple of these micro snips. I'll post a link in the description, um, but be very, very gentle when you use these. Because if you cut those cables, it's another 20 bucks on. So basically, you want to just undo the two clips like that. And then this comes out completely like so. So I'm going to put the case aside now and then show you what to do next. So now we need to get this guy out so we can replace it with a new one. So what you wanna start by doing, gently press on the tabs here. So they're right here. Use two fingers, make sure they're pressed all the way down and then pull on the PTFE tubes gently so you don't break teeth. Well, at this point, it doesn't matter if you break the teeth. And then as you can see, there is a cable here. So this is the cable that you're gonna need to plug into the hub right here. I think there was two cables, yeah, one, two. So just undo it for now, cause it's gonna get in the way when you're taking this guy out. Take your uh, bigger Allen key that they give you and then unscrew. So that was the first two screws. And then here is the third one down here. And uh, keep in mind, Bamboo is super cheap. They don't give you extra screws with this. So you wanna make sure you don't lose the screws. So as you can see here, the motor is connected. You don't get a spare motor, so you need to reuse this one as well. 
uh, might be another thing you want to keep on hand. Maybe pick up one extra motor. I'm gonna finish removing this screw here. Okay, so what we're gonna do first, you're probably gonna have glue on there. Maybe not, because it's my second time doing this, so I don't remember if there was glue or not. So now we need to remove the motor. And like I said, you're reusing this, so be gentle with it. The screw is just right here. And I believe it's just held on by two screws. So this screw here is a little bit difficult to remove, but they gave you a little slot right there. They thought that part through. So you wanna slide it in through the slot like this. To reach that second more difficult screw. Gently put that motor aside, and here's my defective AMS hub. I might keep it for spare parts here, the gear, something, but for the most part, it's garbage. Now, I misplaced one of the motor screws, so I'm just gonna run my magnet here. There we go, I found it. Don't let this magnet touch any electronics. Now we're ready to reinstall the AMS hub or install the new one. So we're just gonna reverse the process now. I'm going to start with the motor. It only goes in one way. So there's the two holes. And then put it in in a way where it's not going to put it in exactly how you found it. That's the best way for me to put this. And uh, for me, I want to make sure the strain on the cable is not too tight. So I'm going to make the cable facing towards there. And yeah, that's it. And then just make sure it once you insert it, make sure it's tight. You should not be able to move this because the motor is not on. So now the painful part is reinserting the screws. I'm gonna start with the difficult one first. Slide it in there. Don't over tighten it so you don't break anything. Now for the easier one. Uh, keep in mind I have a camera in front of me when I'm doing this. So it's uh, might look like I'm doing some weird, awkward. <laughs> Keep in mind I have a camera in front of me, so it might look like I'm doing some weird, awkward things when I'm installing this, but it's because there's a camera and lights around me. I'm just, uh, I turned on my booster light because I can't see properly. Okay, so the motor is back on. Now for the cables. AMS hub goes like, try not to tangle this. AMS hub goes like that. And therefore, start with this guy. I'm gonna put a here first. To me, this is a bit of a race against time because of the print in question. So uh, when you're doing this, take your time, go extremely slow. You don't want to break anything. For this cable, there's two little notches here. You want to have them face away from you. And you're inserting that cable back in. Okay, so the cabling is done. Now I'm just going to gently move things around here. Right. And as you can see, the way the motor brings everything back down pretty quick. Okay, so now we, uh, now you need to take the last three screws, reinsert them. Don't over tighten them. And the last screw. Okay, now you re line up your, now you just reorganize your wires the way you like. Make them nice and clean. And be gentle with them. They are delicate ribbon cables. And then reinsert the PTFE tubes. Like so. And that's it. My AMS hub is back in. So now you grab the shell. 
And this is a good time to clean the inside of that shelf. So grab your mini vac. I'll leave a link in the description on where to get one of these because it blows and it sucks. So now you can still see that there is a significant amount of cardboard dust and plastic dust that's stuck on there good. So I'm going to take a Lysol wipe. Clean that. There's no electronics here other than that board, so don't touch it with the Lysol wipe. I will do a more thorough cleaning with this another day. I'm just, I really need to get my print back up and running right now. Uh, so make sure you let it dry before you proceed to the last step. Now, you take the main AMS board or unit and set it on an angle like so. Reinsert the two cables and then gently pop this part back in like so. And there you go. And that's how you replace the AMS hub. I'm going to go reinsert the PTFE tube in the back, get the filament lined up the way it's supposed to be and resume my print. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you all for watching. Fight bot out.